I used to think of stewardship as mainly just being accountable to God for my time, my talents, my money. But I also think of it as being a good steward of the ministry opportunities God sends my way. Now, to be honest, I'm pretty skilled at avoiding those, but not always. Like when COVID turned the soup cellar upside down and maybe I was at the right place at the right time and had a chance to help serve lunch to some folks. And through that, just show that I valued them as individuals. And it changed my life. And then uh, serving on staff pastor parish relations committee and helping enable our clergy and our staff to support the ton of ministries we have going on around here. And then rejoining choir and hoping that in some small way, God might use us to touch someone's heart through music, even when it's in Latin, like the anthem is today. There's so many, have, have y'all seen or read this list of ministry opportunities uh, that was mailed out from the stewardship committee this week? There are so many ways to serve God and we just can't let these get past us. And I think that's a big part of what stewardship is all about. One of the ministries I really like is volunteering here in the uh, elementary um, age class. You get to see all the kids grow up from when they're little all the way to when they're um, teenagers and adults. And you have that um, bond with them as they um, age throughout our um, congregation. I like being almost old enough to be an acolyte. And well, I am old enough to be an acolyte, but I'm excited that I'm allowed to be here and worship with everybody else at Russian Town Street. It's good morning. I'm Mary Slade, president of the Dossie class, and my husband and I came to the Dossie class for a book study and fell in love with it and have stayed for about 12 years. Um, what we always have great discussions, we take turns teaching, and we have four or five ministers, so their education really helps make the class interesting. But we would love anybody to come join us. We would welcome you. Hi there. I'm MJ Fox. I've been a member of Washington Street since 1984, I believe. My big activity is the Dossi class, and I really enjoy the camaraderie that we have there. The lessons, which are a little less traditional probably, and uh, the outreach that the class does. Also, I'm the circle leader of Circle Two, which is the Tony White Circle and we've done projects supporting Epworth. So I'm part of the racial justice action team, which is not just civil rights, but just all kind of emphasizing and trying to support social justice in every way. For years, Washington Street has had a long history with the country of Ecuador. And this past year, when we did our um, mission trip in the summer, we learned about an effort of the United Methodist Women, the National United Methodist Women, that funded uh, micro loans to women in different countries um, to help them raise money, start businesses to support their family. We came back from that trip with an effort that our circles at Washington Street are now collecting money for this very project and it will go to the women of Ecuador. We had the opportunity to meet some of the women who had received these microloans and learn what they were doing with them, either buying craft supplies or livestock to raise. And, and so we are very involved. This is an exciting new project that we're working on. My name is Lily. I went to Ecuador with my church this past summer and we did optometry clinic, clinics, medical clinics, and we even had a dog clinic. My favorite things about the trip were definitely the people and the culture and all the sweet dogs that were there. One of the things that I love about Washington Street is the museum here where we are 
attempting to preserve the history of the church and the background to show that off to our community. I think my favorite part about Washington Street is us being here together and people being able to take part in the community. Hi, I'm Kay ayers Garen, and Washington Street is working at resettling a Guatemalan family in the community and we are helping with all of their essential needs um, and if anybody would like to be involved, please contact me or Beth Kim Wall. Hi, my name is Beth Robinson and I am thankful to be a member of Washington Street and all that we do here in supporting our community, whether it's through providing meals for the foster families at Epworth Children's Home or Christmas gifts for children. Um, it might be even books off the reading list for our students at Alcorn Middle School. Um, just if there's a way that you want to be involved, there's a match here at Washington Street. I'm Sam Waldrop and I'm involved in the faith formation area here at Washington Street. What I like most about being a part of this special ministry is being involved in worship opportunities, both planning and creating and executing those. We offer a variety of opportunities for our very um, meaningful, spiritual enrichment here at Washington Street and we're blessed for that. Another great ministry that's here at Washington Street is our welcome table ministry, where we're able to bring food to the um, homeless community, but more important, we're bringing services like health services, community services, um, and being able to allow those um, things be brought to those folks. Sometimes that's some of the hardest things that can be um, looked at and needed, and it really is important to be able to bring the, the two together. I'm Tom Summers, and I'm a member of the Dawsey class here at Washington Street United Methodist. And it's been a privilege to be a part of this group uh, for, for these many years. And uh, one project that we had was back in the uh, 2014 and 15, and uh, we wanted to join the Reconciling uh, Network for LGBTQ uh, inclusion within churches and society. So we, the Grace class, I think, was already uh, a member of the Rec National Reconciling Network. And so we went through a period of discernment in, in those days, and we became the second Sunday school class to become a member of the Reconciling uh, Network nationally. And then when Washington Street United Methodist became a total church, with, the, with its decision to be a reconciling church, which is one of the few, if any other, in the in the in the South Carolina Conference, so uh, we the Grace class was a main uh, paving the way for that. But the Dawson class had jumped in on that, and we we feel so good about being able to be uh, be interpreters for the uh, whole church in terms of support and advocacy for the needs of. LGBTQ plus folks, and it means a lot to, uh, to all the, the community to, to find such a, a reconciling and such a supportive church. And I'm also a member of the reconciling uh, team committee of uh, the church, and so I'm able to keep up with a lot of those things as a retired United Methodist minister. And I, I'm really proud of this church.